The relationship of water and livelihood is as old as the relationship between the sea and the soil. With 480 kilometers of exposed coastline, Odisha is vulnerable to disasters. The most severe and damaging natural disasters to have struck Odisha, ravaging it in the process was a super cyclone of 1999. It was also the deadliest tropical cyclone in the Indian Ocean since the 1991 Bangladesh cyclone. The devastating impact on life and property damaged the infrastructure in 14 districts of the state and disrupted public life, traumatizing millions. At the turn of the century, it was decided that systems and mechanisms of resisting and reducing disaster needed to be put in place. The time for reckoning came soon enough. October 2013 was going to serve as testimony to how resilient the coast of Risa was since 1999. A day after the massive super cyclone Pilin made landfall on the Orisha coast, there is good news to report. Despite the intensity of the storm in which winds gusted up to 240 kilometers per hour, there have been minimal casualties. Reports suggest that seven people have died, but countless lives have been saved because of the successful evacuation of more than nine lakh people in Odisha and Andhra Pradesh, which makes this the biggest evacuation drive in India's history. The state government was instrumental in carrying out evacuations. At the moment, no Air Force, Navy or Army aircraft has been requisitioned by the state governments of Odisha or Andhra Pradesh for that matter, a sign of the success in the evacuations. The relief operation which was undertaken in this district was perhaps one of the biggest relief operations ever taken up in a district in India. And we have to move in, just to give you an idea of the scale of the operations, we have to move in almost 500,000, 5 lakh quintals of rice immediately and quickly to people so that there is no food distress. The remarkable evacuation process wouldn't have been possible without an efficient early warning system and disaster preparedness. The Yoga Framework for Action has helped strengthen the disaster coping capacity in Orissa by focusing on improved early warning systems and better disaster risk reduction methods. This has helped save lives and reduce the economic losses borne by the state of Orissa. Jagdananda, founder of CYST, has for long understood the need for best practices. We need a social housing movement in Odisha so that all kacha houses, all houses which are not you know, disaster resilient, disaster proof, and they are very, very kacha, they are very temporary, have to be converted to disaster resilient housing program. So you have to think of a cropping pattern, which is we are able to harvest in the month of September, let us say. No change is possible without alliances. UNISDR's close involvement with the state of Orisa has been one such strategic and pragmatic alliance. After every major disaster event, uh, we know that the most difficult period starts when you have to rebuild, recover and reconstruct. This is also the most significant opportunity to change, to not build back risk. Orisa's success lies in its people and the ability to learn from past disasters. In Orisa, people know they can do more and are willing to do what is necessary to make their state a more resilient place to live in. 
They are prepared to invest more in disaster reduction policies as they know that climate change is not an option anymore but a reality. A reality that they will be facing in the years to come.